Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Worden for Tech That Doesn't Bite, the webcast that reviews everyday tech that you use. Alright, now we all know I'm kind of the OG guy of the two of us between Simon and myself here, and I'm going to be telling you about an old program that I use, an image viewer that I've used called the EarFan Viewer. You can actually download it from this website right here. Uh, they're still around, still making upgrades and all that cool stuff. Now, the thing about uh, about the EarFan Viewer has been around since 1996, so yeah, it's, uh, it's already going to be a little dated. Uh, it was created by a guy named Irfan Skiljan. He lives in Austria and is a graduate of the Vienna University of Technology. Yeah, that's actually inside the program itself. You look under the help, it's hilarious. Anyways, I have found this program to be very useful, and I've been using it for, oh God, way too many years for my own good that I'm not going to tell you. But the, the beauty about this particular program, it's, it's freeware. Uh, so if you want to send donations to the guy, by all means, you should do so. And the... Uh, it's, very, it's a surprisingly powerful image viewer. Now, it does do what you would expect your average image viewer to do. You open up, you open up a picture. Uh, you can scroll through it with, uh, for all the pictures that are within that given folder, so you can just kind of work your way through it. You can resize and resample stuff. You can even watch small videos with it if you have the appropriate plugins installed. Uh, you can zoom in and out of the photographs. You want to check out details. Uh, you can even create or play a slideshow of, uh, the, of the selected pictures, crop and edit, all the good stuff you would normally expect to find with a, an image viewing program. Now, when I was using this a long while back, um, I would actually use that to create thumbnails. That was like a real big thing I actually did so that I didn't have to like take it, resample it manually and do it. I could do it in mass. I could do it as a batch, which was really great. Recently, I've actually started using it to colorize photos. Now, it doesn't do a super, super great job on it. I think if you really want to get very high detail quality stuff, uh, you definitely want to use a different program, say like Photoshop. And if you happen to have some skill with that, then you're definitely using the right program in that case. But for the EarFan viewer, if you're looking to do something a little more, you know, kind of give you an idea to give it, give it a little more, uh, give it a little oomph, if you will, uh, then this actually program actually does a pretty good job. Um, so let's actually start with this. What you see here is basically a standard photograph I have found on the internet. There's, you know, there's no relation of any kind. I just happen to find this one. Now, what I did, I simply went to image of that auto adjust color. And when you do that, you get this result. Now, it's not bad. It's pretty good. You know, it, it, it gives, you know, the appropriate amount of color. It's surprisingly green, you know, but it's, but it does the job you need it to do if you just want to get, you know, something colorized or just show an example of what it does. And this actually does a pretty good job in my book here. Now, something else this actually does, I give this is actually very website 1990s, late 1990s type stuff. You actually have what is actually called the effects browser. And the effects browser, and I'll show you using just a, a trim out of this guy's face, you'll have uh, basically just you know, your standard photograph here. Uh, when you actually go to an effect browser, you can create the button effect, a 3D button effect, which is kind of cool in its own way. If, you know, if you're like using it for a kit site or something like that, you might, might be kind of a fun thing to have. Uh, you can actually pixelize stuff. This could be very useful if you want to blur out screenshots into particular uh, imagery and whatnot. And of course, you even have like an explosion type stuff um, if you want to, you know, get something a little different. And you can scale all these effects one way or, or another. Uh, you're not just stuck with just it looking that way or having to redo it over and over to get it to look more pixelized. You can scale it accordingly. Now, one thing I've always enjoyed about using this particular program uh, is the uh, uh, is the thumbnails option. Now, what you do in order to get that to work, you open up a single picture and then you press the T button and you get this. Now, what I'm showing here are basically four pictures that I have in a single folder of its own, and I told it to use the color blue so you could easily see what the, the thumbnail looks like. So if it's not sized in a square manner like the one on the right, you'll, it'll, it'll basically fill it in for you. And you can pretty much choose any color. It defaulted to black. I chose blue so you can see it better. And what you do from here, you select on File, click on uh, uh, Save as Separate Images, and you'll actually get four new images same file name, but with a T at the end, so they can say that they are thumbnails. And you can resize these up to 300 by 300 pixels. These are 100 by 100, and I think you'll find that these are pretty, uh, uh, pretty useful things to have if you are creating a website where you want thumbnails. Then when you click on it, it'll pop up an open picture in an, in an overlay or even in a separate web page, however you want to construct your websites and whatnot. 
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is pretty much uh, the Air Fan Viewer. I definitely encourage you to download it and give it a try. I definitely give it the big five stars, if you will. Uh, like I said, I've been using it for a really long time, and it's a, it's really a surprisingly powerful program. If you really delve into some of the stuff that it has, uh, um, there are different plugins that you can download for so that it can actually do different functions. Uh, I definitely encourage you to check into this, and I think you'll really like it. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. So big five out of five for the AirFan viewer. Go check it out today and enjoy it. And if you like this particular program or you've been using it for yourself, I'd love to see your comments down below here on the web channel. Check it out. We'd love to hear from you to see what, to, what your feelings are about it. If you like today's episode of Tech That Doesn't Bite, please like and subscribe to us here at our YouTube channel. We'd love to hear from you. And uh, be sure to tag the little bell there so you get notifications of when a new episode has been posted. Thanks for joining us today on Tech That Doesn't Bite.